Hello friends. In this video, we are going to learn what is DBMS. So let's see. DBMS. Correct. Means how that database come into the picture. Database having the data, and data is organized in structured information. Is nothing but the database. So we will see DBMS. Database management system. Database management system is the software interface for creating and managing database. Means here is the your DBMS and it having different uh, database. Correct. And this having different tables like this. And uh, DBMS make it possible for end user to create, update, delete the data in the database. Means with the help of application. Means uh, here is an application like the Sims application, and here is the database. So we can communicate with the help of SQL to either create. In, uh, update or delete this operation with the database this is nothing but the DBMS it contains the several databases as well as um, it holds the complete information about the data so yeah in we will see DBMS in detail DBMS having four types. One is hierarchical, then second is network. We can say it is a model, means hierarchical model, network model, then third is the relational. Or DBMS and fourth one is the object oriented in hierarchical there is a tree structure and uh, in this uh, data is stored in hierarchically either top down approach or a bottom up approach and data is represented using the parent child relationship and in network model the address uh, you can uh, easily address that particular uh, complex relationship between the uh, different roads and it having the many to many relationship between the um, network model between the objects and in the network model and third one means uh, there is a order and parts are the two entity correct and order when we are placing the order which contain the multiple parts correct this is the um, relationship this is the part one part two part three and uh, in terms of the uh, reverse direction there is a part is the one and which is available in the order one order 2 order 3 order 4 or some like that means it is a many to many relationship actually uh, re related to the relationship we will discuss in the upcoming session but it is just the flow so that network model is like this and uh, there is a relationship between the records and then there is a one more thing in the relational model in data uh, relational model in dbms relational model is the very popular one and we can call it as a rdbms system as well the why it is popular because it is the simple one and most widely used and uh, one more thing uh, it is normalizing the data and in the rows and columns 
relational model stored in fixed structure and manipulated using the SQL language. Uh, let's say, uh, as we seen, there is a table, table having the rows and columns. So in that way, that relation uh, is happened between the tables and that model is uh, structured. And there are some different DBMS systems are available in the market for the relational database management system means uh, like the mysql oracle then uh, microsoft sql server and uh, there is a postgres sql or uh, access as well postgres sql is the example of object oriented but this is the example of the rdbms system these are the popular one my mysql oracle microsoft sql server and in the upcoming sessions means whatever that uh, upcoming videos are coming and in that i am covering microsoft sql server and fourth one is the object oriented data is stored in the form of object and classes and uh, uh, structured is called as the classes and which display the data within it means class its container and it having the object and object contain the data right so that is the uh, nothing but the postgresql model of if you want to notes of this session then visit learn sql with sagar dot blogspot dot com and in the next session we will cover uh, what is no sql and different topics available in the sql server and thank you for watching please like share and subscribe thanks bye bye